There are a number of ways to do the face. The way I'm choosing is first I drew a little smile with a piece of tailor's chalk on the face and then I cut out two felt squares for the eyes which I'm going to place and two cheeks. Felt is the best fabric to use for applicating onto this fleece. It's nice and stiff and thick and it just seems to work better. So I'm going to pin it down because I don't want it to move and then I'll bring it to my machine to sew. If you choose to use flannel instead of felt to applique on the, on the fleece, I recommend you first interface the flannel so that at least it will become stiff like this felt. And then a little trick you can use is to take a piece of tearaway interfacing, put it underneath the, the fleece, have your machine thread it with a clear foot, change your settings from A1 to A3, from a stitch width of zero to four or five, and from a stitch length of two and a half down to one. I'll take the first pin out and I'll just hold it with my fingers. It doesn't really matter where I start, it's an oval. I line it up so that the inside edge of this clear foot is right near the edge of this black felt. Now I'm going to start. I'm not going to bother reversing because I know I'm going to come back to where I started. You have to do a lot of starting and stopping and pivoting whenever you're sewing on a curve. Now I'm just using this blue fabric now if I want and it's going to make it pop. If I wanted I could have changed the bobbin only on the top or the thread only on the top to black and then it would have blended a little better and been a little more forgiving. So if you're worried about being neat it's always best to have the thread on top a matching color. But in my case I actually wanted it to pop so I'm using a different color. It'll be your choice. So lots of starting, stopping, lots of pivoting, but anytime you lift that foot, make sure you put it back down. Now when I get back to where I started, I just do a one to two stitch reverse. Take it out, cut your threads on the top and bottom, and this tear away interfacing does just that, it tears away. So when you're finished with it, you can literally just rip it off. But what it does, is it enables the fleece to sew just a little more evenly and you won't have to fight with it as much. If you use this and you still find you're having trouble, one thing you can do is switch to a walking foot and or possibly uh, a ballpoint needle. So let me know if you're struggling with doing this applique and I can definitely get you set up for success. So applique the entire face and, uh, and for the smile what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zigzag right where I drew. So I'll start and I will reverse since I won't be coming back to where I started. And then I just follow that line that I drew with the tailor's chop. And when I get to the end, I'll reverse. Now if you want it darker, you can go back and do it a second time, you can do it a third time. Each time you do it, it'll get darker and darker.